Hello, I'm Nayaka and I'm the Centre Director here at Donakosha. So I'm standing here on the front lawn on a beautiful spring day. Um, it's Friday morning and one retreat has just left. The team are busy cleaning the house, which would normally be, of course, getting the house ready for the next retreat. However, we are in the middle of the global coronavirus pandemic, um, so there isn't a retreat coming in today and uh, we don't know when the next retreat is going to be. We'll, uh, we'll keep you informed with what's happening here at Darnicosia and we'll let you know which retreats exactly we're cancelling and when we are going to be up and running um, as soon as we can. But as I say, at the moment we don't know how long this is going to be for. Now obviously this is a, a, a serious situation affecting, you know, it's going to affect the whole world by the looks of it. Um, in the UK things are busy locking down, all sorts of things are going on. You wouldn't guess it from standing here this morning it's absolutely stunning it's beautiful there's still snow on the mountains the birds are singing um, but I'm very aware that uh, out there there's, there's health issues affecting people there's a lot of people feeling quite vulnerable um, there's a lot of concern about the economy um, Donnacosha itself of course is going to be financially affected um, we're, we're looking at lost earnings of about a thousand pounds a day um, we will be making savings along the way um, so we're pretty confident that this is a storm that, uh, that we can weather. We, we have been saving money the last few years. Um, but I think what's very important at the moment as well is, is, well, as well as the direct health effects of the virus, there's going to be a huge emotional impact. Um, all this talk of social distancing and self-isolation and just quite a lot of fear and anxiety out there in the world. So what I wanted to do was just to sort of communicate a bit of the value of retreats, the value of what Darnacosia tries to do. And um, we hope to continue sharing some of this with you over the coming weeks and months. Um, but I just want to start off, I'm just going to read you a few things from the feedback forms from the last retreat. Just letting a farm vehicle go past. So just a few things from the feedback from the last retreat. Um, these are the sorts of things people say. This is a, an introductory retreat. Um, it was uh, writing in Tai Chi with um, Larry Ratnadevi. Um, so, kindness, care, um, the surroundings, accessibility of the leaders, spirit of friendship, a safe space to be creative, open, warm, space, playfulness, so th this was just a, a random selection of the feedback sheets. Um, these are the kind of qualities that people associate with, uh, with Darnacosha and it, it strikes me that at a time when there is uh, a building sense of, of anxiety, a building sense of isolation and, uh, and a very real uh, risk to, to health, um, these are actually the kind of qualities that we need. Um, and the, uh, the, the sense of community, of course, that develops on the retreat is, uh, is a thing that's going to be increasingly difficult for people to find in their, in their ordinary lives. So we want to find ways of helping you connect with those positive qualities and that sense of community. We're going to be doing this by trying to share with you um, various resources online. Uh, so hopefully in the next few days we'll get a little bit of a programme out as to what we're going to be doing. Um, and there's also the Darnacosha Facebook community. So we're going to be sharing our lives as a practice community in a, in a very ordinary way through the Facebook community group. Um, and encouraging you to share what you're up to as well through that group. So do feel free to uh, well, do get engaged with that group. Um, and yeah, our online resources, well, we don't quite know what they're going to be yet because we're still figuring that out, but uh, they will hopefully be things that relate to the retreats we would have been running, um, as well as more general resources that would be, uh, you know, of, of, of use to people in a, in a time like this. Um, we are aware it is a time of adversity. Um, Hopefully that also is a time of opportunity. I'm very aware that in the world out there, there's community groups getting established, there's people looking after their neighbours, there's a, there's a, as, as well as the, the negative aspects of fear and anxiety, there is a sense of care and a, and a sense of kindness. So we want to do what we can to support that sense of care, kindness and community through sharing our practice lives, our practice community, and by encouraging you to, to share yours and hopefully by resourcing people with a, a little bit of um, you know, the positive impacts and the, the positive qualities that uh, retreat life can give 
and hopefully will start to give as soon as the situation eases enough for us to be up and running again. So in the meantime, uh, look after yourselves, look after each other, and uh, we'll hopefully get a, uh, a programme out on the website and on our Facebook page as soon as we can. Thank you and stay well.